Hello, this is Peter from AstronomyDrawings.com and welcome to the first of my series about Astronomical Object of the Month. Perhaps it's getting a bit late in the year to talk about this one, but it's one of my all-time favourites, NGC 2359 or the Helmet of Mighty Thor. NGC 2359 or Thor's Helmet is another astronomical showpiece that leaves anyone who has the chance of seeing it through a big telescope in awe. It's not that difficult to find, about halfway between Gamma Canis Maioris and Alpha Molocherontis, and already with a good pair of binoculars and a dark enough sky, you'll notice this hazy little patch. It's almost 12,000 light years distant, but its gigantic central star is so incredibly hot that it heats up the nebula to the extent that it starts to emit light and becomes strikingly visible to us. Looking at the sky can teach us a lot about where we originated from, how stars and solar systems are being born, how they grow and, eventually, like in this case, how they die. Now, let's grab the binoscope and look at this peculiar nebula more in detail. First, let's take a closer look at its central star, believed to contain 35 times the mass of our own Sun. The bigger a star, the faster it burns its hydrogen into helium, and after having lived for only a few hundreds of thousands of years, it has already reached the end. It is believed that this central star is in fact a pre-supernova stage, and that one day soon it will die in an explosion of biblical proportions. The cloud of interstellar gas in its vicinity, containing at least 100 solar masses, is being blown away by the fierce radiation of the star in a sort of bubble shape around it, 30 light years across, and is expanding at a rate varying between 10 to 30 kilometers a second. The star becomes highly unstable, gravity fighting with the outward energy generated by the nuclear fusion in the stellar core. It expands, cools down, contracts, heats up again and expands again until the critical limits breached and the star explodes. But we're not quite there yet. It appears that this particular supergiant managed to shed a part of its atmosphere through which it regained some sort of stability. Supergiant stars in this state are quite rare and are classified as wolf rayet stars. Its exposed surface contracts and reaches a temperature of 200,000 degrees centigrade or more, and fusions reignited, only this time carbon and oxygen are being fused into heavier elements still, like iron for example. Imagine the power behind all of this. Imagine the fierce stellar winds that such an extremely hot star generates. The previously expelled bubble of atmospheres crashing into the already existing gas cloud and blows it up like a balloon. That's exactly what we can see here at the nebula's centre. Soon the central star will collapse under its own gravity and explode as a supernova, which will feed the universe with heavy elements that are vital for the creation of planets and life. That's it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video about Thor's helmet. So. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time for another video about the next object of the month.